Hello, I'm Tenman432, and welcome back to Mega Man Zero 3. Uh, in the last part, uh, which was the first part, we had a huge uh, story part, and uh, some ancient reploid, or a reploid from at least 100 years ago, named Omega, came down from space. And then a guy named uh, Dr. Weil came with him, and uh, they entered near Arcadia, and apparently a new copy, Copy X, was there with them. But anyway, now we're trying to find the Dark Elf before they do, so they don't abuse its power to explode the world or anything. So yeah, apparently, according to this navigator, there was a sighting of the Dark Elf in this area that we're about to go to, a residential area. But obviously they couldn't scan it because that would make the game too easy. But anyway, let's just head into that area and uh, yeah, here we go, first mission. Mr. Zero, you can burn away the ivy with flame-based attacks. A recoil rod's charge attack can destroy things too. Keep that in mind. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's true. You could destroy these uh, vines and leaves and stuff with your flame-based attacks, but um, unfortunately, we do not have that. We haven't beat the flame guy yet. But um, there's also these blocks here. You can take out the recoil rod and uh, destroy them like that. So yeah, um, you can do that with a few other things in this area, um, but most of, most of the secrets you will find by blowing up the trees and stuff. Anyway, you might have noticed that uh, blue door that I just walked past, the one that seems to be uh, glowing there. So uh, this area is called Cyberspace, and you might have noticed those... Um, those cyber elves go on, on top of zero or whatever, and um, the effects of those cyber elves are actually affecting zero right now. Um, so that's why our health bar is slightly bigger than usual. I am not completely sure about how it works. Um, I think certain cyber elves they have, like have a certain ranking or something, and uh, they all um, activate when you go into cyberspace, and they don't die yet um they get saved until next time and um you don't lose the mission points for using the cyber elves but you do lose mission points for going inside cyberspace you lose five so really if you if you're using enough cyber elves to make up for that five then it's probably worth it but you probably won't see me going into cyberspace too much in this game probably i don't really use it too much Anyway, let's just continue on. You might have seen those mushrooms on the ladders, and uh, you can burn those away with fire. Anyway, uh, we're out of cyberspace now, and now we have a little mini cutscene here. Mama! Mama! Hey, Priya! Mama's not here! That's right, Kriya. Mama's not here. Hey, Priya, let's look a little farther inside. That's right, Kriya. Let's look a little farther inside. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Those must be. Zero, I've picked up some baby elf readings on that portable scanner I gave you. They may be the same ones I was studying. Their mother. They must be looking for the dark elf. Hey, Zero. Can you protect those babies? Alright, I'll find them. Thank you, Zero. Oh, uh, wow. Baby elf lines are just fun to read out loud. I, I can't... <laughs> that that high-pitched voice that I'm trying to do, I, I, can't, I can't really do it. But anyway, we're back in the stage, and we got this little part here where the blocks will start falling down and stuff, and there's, like, items that you can get. But it's really quite easy if um, you aren't too slow. You just have to not land up the spikes on the bottom. And then after that, we have this mini boss here. So this mini boss is like a weird worm thing that burrows out of the ground and stuff. And um, um, my strategy is to stay on the side that it is not digging out of that way. 
when it does this arc thing, if it's shooting um, on the outside, then you know to on the inside part, and if it's shooting on the inside part like this, you know to, to stand on the outside and stuff. But anyway, just my strategy is to stand on the other side of where it is, and um, usually works for me. But yeah, um, sometimes when this is your first stage, uh, it can be pretty difficult uh, if you stay if you accidentally go uh, get trapped and you have to take a few bullets. But if you just stay on the other side, then it should be easier and stuff. Anyway, just drop that secret disc. So now we information have information about it to read some other time when we get back to the base or whatever. And uh, over here, it's an interesting part. Um, you can actually use the recoil rod. We can just take that off. And bounce off of those blue guys' heads. Um, like I just did on the floor. The floor. The floor. And uh, you can do the same thing on top of enemies. And I just failed. So let's do it again. Nope. Okay. Nope. Come on. There we go. <laughs> anyway, you bounce on top of, uh, off of them, and then there's this sub tank up here. Um, and yeah, it's a good old sub tank. Refills your health. And yeah, it's basically a sub tank. Anyway, uh, we go over here. There's these weird plant enemies. And if you go up to the top here, there's this health. And then there's a, a secret shortcut. Um, so yeah, let's go. just go through there, and it falls down here, and there's like one blue guy over here, and then there's this massive health thing, and the secret disc, which I use to fill up my sub tank, and then it skips you over to this section, um, which is actually where I actually found the door. I had fell down the cliff and died, but I saw the door. Um, anyway, yeah, that, that part just keeps going up, I think, and then... Uh, eventually it comes down here to this part so it's a pretty good shortcut um, yeah let's keep going maybe destroy these guys and get their secret disc I think we're almost to the boss I'm, I'm pretty sure we're almost there so yeah um, before the boss there's a little cutscene with the baby elves so yeah here we go cough who are you? You smell like mama. Who are you? You smell like us. Chicka chaka. So these are baby elves? Lord Wild ordered me to find them. They really are just little elves. Are they useful? Hand over the baby elves. him he pushed mama around I know him too that's the guy who pushed mama around a century ago century you faker you faker hmm chicka chaka shut up you baby elves if you don't want to get chopped up go into that room Wah! Wah! Okay, that's, that's kind of hard. I need vocal cords. Those two belong to Lord Wyle. You can't have them. I'm Death Dan's Mantisk, one of Wyle's numbers. Now, time to slice you into ribbons. Oh, he's got swords. Sword power. Here we go. Sword fight. Anyway, um, this one, it is also pretty difficult if you don't know his attacks. He likes to jump around and stab you and do a whole bunch of damage. And uh, yeah, he has this attack with the spinny things, and this attack where the jump off of wall stabby things, and this attack where you have to dash under his blade and then jump over his blade. And um, yeah, it's pretty hard to dodge. Dodge. Um, his swords are pretty big. He likes to slice up these rock things. And uh, yeah, once you learn his attack patterns, like all the other bosses in Mega Man, um, you should have. It down once you have the full sub tank is pretty easy I don't even know what I'm saying I just repeated him anyway so yeah 
here's our mission results. Um, I probably didn't do too well. Yeah, 77. But, um, because of my average of 88 points, I got level A. And then I unlocked the light chip and some EX move. And then we got the cyber elves from the secret discs. And then some actual secret in the secret discs. Or information, anyway. Oh, well, back to the cutscene. Who are you? I've seen you somewhere before. Who are you, mister? I've seen him somewhere before, too. Oh, I did that voice wrong, didn't I? Hee hee hee! My name is Wyle. I'm the one who made your mother. The Dark Elf. You might think of me as your... Grandpa. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Priya, did you hear that? He's our grandpa. I heard, Priya. He's our grandpa. I cannot tell which is which. They're both pink and look identical. I'm looking for the Dark Elf, too. I need your help. You should come with me to New Arcadia. I'll give you new powers? A new body? Okay, let's go, Kriya. Okay, let's go, Kriya. Oh, the, the other one's Priya. Never mind. Wait! Oh, they just teleport away. How rude. Darn. Seal, can you follow their readings? I'm sorry, Zero. That won't be possible with your scanner. Mr. Zero, please return to base. Granting transfer. Schwoop. Transferring. Two. One. Schwoop. Transfer complete. Zero. Thank you. The reports of the Dark Elf. They were really baby elf sightings. I wonder what New Arcadia is planning on doing with them. Well, I wonder too. Um... Let's see. This hasn't been that long, so let's do another mission. Um, I don't think we got an elemental attack, so we can't do any real weakness ones. But let's just go to this one. So apparently the New Arcadian army is by this factory in a volcano, and we have no idea what they're doing there. So let's check it out. A strong energy reading has been detected. They're building a huge missile outside the base. The base must be here to support the construction. Analyzing a route to the missile factory will take quite a while. Zero, what should we do? Alright, I'll buy us some time by attacking the base. Start your analysis. Analysis. Anyway, uh, here's this stage. Um, it's by a volcano, so um, there's these enemies with balls that will bounce um, when they hit you, and then they will go back at the enemy, which is... I don't know why they would do that. But anyway, these volcanoes, um, shooting rocks at you, you want to dodge those because they kind of hurt because they're from the volcano. And then there's these blue guys over here, and then there's some lava pits that these spider things come out of. Lava spider crabs. Yep, that's what they're called. Um... But yeah, if you just do it relatively slowly, you shouldn't have a problem with this part of the level. So once you get past there, there are these lava tower, well, they're, they're bricks that get shot up by lava somehow. And uh, you'll see that there are these spikes here, um, and when they shoot up, they will stab you. Like that. Only the other one does that. Um, yeah, I kind of messed up there. Let me... Uh, speed up this next part all right so we're back here now um let's just wait for that to erupt or explode or rise whatever you want to call it and then continue on um this next part i believe there's some items up there that you can reach later but i don't have the double jump ability yes there's the double jump ability um, but I don't get that until later in the game, which is when I'll do more of my backtracking and item finding and stuff. Anyway, with that part, the platforms are falling into the lava, and it's pretty difficult on your first run. And, uh, there's another part uh, later in the stage where it's even harder, um, even for me still. But anyway, uh, we got past that. We can look through these windows and see that, obviously, if we were to go behind these windows, there's lava, and it's a very safe place to be working. Anyway, there's this sword enemy here that somehow killed me. Even though it's a super weak 
enemy. Oh, well, I'm back here. Time to get re my revenge on that sword wielding thing, whatever it's called. Anyway, you might notice this body icon here, and this is after defeating Death Tan's Mantis. We got the light body chip, so sometimes platforms will crumble away underneath our feet. That won't happen anymore. Anyway, in this part, um, I do pretty badly compared to normal runs. But anyway, uh, you're supposed to destroy these weird teleporty things. Um, I think you're- I don't know, I think you're supposed to destroy a certain amount before the time limit? Not sure how it works. But, uh, I am missing quite a few this time. And, uh, yeah, if you're good with your dashes and whatever, then you should be able to do it. I got 633. It's not my best time. Anyway, let's continue on. Um, and more of these guys. I actually do a surprising amount of damage. I, th I thought they did less. Anyway, we got some of these pink spinny blade things on the walls. And ceiling. And then we got an E crystal. And next up, we have this fire guy next to a secret disc, which is not the, in the best position since his shield is not doing anything. And then there's this jump here, um, which I would totally use the double jump for if I had it. Um, but that's kind of impossible for me, anyway. Let's continue on. Um, get past this pink blade thing. I don't know why I chose to go back here. Oh yeah, I thought I could do that, but now I, now I can see the truth. I probably could. Oh well. Let's just continue on, uh, get this secret disc here, dodge this pink thing, and then recklessly charge into this fire thing? Or not, but I still took a whole bunch of damage. Anyway, this is the hard part that I was talking about. I've died so many times here. Uh, you can see how quickly the the platforms will fall into the lava. Yeah, I'm not really sure why they're putting the platforms in lava. Anyway, check this out. You can take the shield boomerang, throw it like that, it slices them. <laughs> oh well, I thought it was cool. Anyway, here we are. The end of the stage, I think. Yeah, here's the boss door. And here's the fire boss. I don't even know what their name is. Yeah, here we go. I almost gave up on finding a foe worthy of fighting me. You look like you might at least be a minor challenge. I'm gonna enjoy this, Zero. Okay. See ya! Get ready for Blazin' Flizzard, one of Wild's numbers. Let's heat it up, Zero! That was very enthusiastic. Oh well. Blazin' Flizzard, um, I believe it has something to do with Blazing Lizard. Oh well. So this boss, he has these this attack where he uses his arm as a flamethrower, uh, which would be pretty terrible because he doesn't really have hands. Unless he uses the flamethrower things as fingers. Oh well, he throws this thing around too, and then he also does that attack where he has the fire go all around or something. And here I just died there with one, one attack left. I could have gotten him. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, that attack where his head starts spinning and fire starts shooting and stuff and this guy does a lot of damage too so be careful um anyway here we go take two let's let's try to beat this guy i just noticed his knees are also flamethrower things oh well doesn't matter um he's going to be dead soon anyway his other attack is uh dead again Oops. His other attack is to shoot um, some fire stuff from his tail. Um, three little fire things. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, I have zero lives, so let's let's try to beat him this time. Yes, try, because trying is is important. Let's just be a little more cautious and use our charged saber shots or whatever. Do way more damage. Come on. You can do this. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not using the best strategy, just clinging to this wall. Maybe it is the best strategy. Who knows? 
Anyway, we almost got him. Just a few more hits, or a few more, um, full hits, and here we... Come on. Oh, well. Here we go. Who are you to put out my flames? Lord Wild will get you, though. Make no mistake. He'll cover the whole world in flames. You'll see. Yeah, uh, you can't. You can't put the flame about flames of a far new world. See arg. Well. Okay. Well, he's dead. And um, let's see how much time. Okay. Well, um, we got the flame chip, so now we can do flame attacks and stuff. And we got the burst shot, whatever that is. But anyway, let's uh, leave the mission. Transferring. Two, one. Swoop. Thank you, Zero. We failed to destroy the missile, but I believe we can... Oh, I don't... Uh, <laughs> the text is scrolling so fast. Anyway, um, that'll be the end of this episode. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say, but uh, see you in the next parts. Um, peace and she.